Good job, man. A theme I know a lot of you in the audience share really well is confidence. Um, I see the posters at the colleges and pro environments a lot where the confidence poster, it's usually, recently it's that breaching whale. It says courage underneath. <laughs> I've never had an athlete like throw for 400 yards, come off the field. I'm like, what was it? He's like, it was the breaching whale. <laughs> and I'm not knocking those. <laughs> I'm not, no, you're like, someone's like, I own the trademark on that. Good for you. I'm not knocking posters. I like them too. They're reminders. Play like a champion and honor others and all these awesome phrases. They're great. But a poster of a breaching whale that says courage is not all we need. We need way more than that. So let's take that poster off the wall. This game is called Expert Speaker. I want to show you what love and grace looks like when it's on its feet. And I'm just trying to see. I know, by the way, if you look away from me, I can still see you. They're like, I don't want to do it. You're right there, bro. Uh, <laughs> but I want someone who's going to love this. Um, actually, Jack, right? Get up here in front. Give Jack a hand. <laughs> Put this on. Now, I, I don't know Jack other than we drove in the car from the airport. I do know this isn't his first rodeo on stage. <laughs> but I want you to know that I picked Jack not because um, he feels totally comfortable. Actually, let's be honest, Jack. Is there a little uncomfort in the fact that I just brought you up and you don't know what's going on? Thank you. So luckily you have that pocket. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Jack, you sit on this side. I don't know why I made that switch. It's just, Jack, I want you to see a confident human being in an uncomfortable situation, treated with grace and love, so you all can do it too. Jack, there are three rules to this game. The first rule is everything you say is correct, and I will agree with you. See that smile? Everything. Jack, if you say Steve, I own the lights. I'm going to be like, I know, they're jackslights.com, right? You got it? I got it. And everything I say is correct, Jack, and you must agree with me. If, if I say, Jack, I want to buy shoes from you, then you are selling me shoes. Cool. There's a third rule, because we do this interactive and take care of each other, trust fall. But there's a third rule that if it's this not followed, none of this works, which is i got to take care of you. And you got to take care of me. So I'm not going to get a joke at your expense, man. Because I'm too funny for that, and so are you. I'm going to honor you. We're not going to go to a cul-de-sac. We're going to stay away from race jokes, sex jokes, drug jokes. Those don't work. You get a laugh, but usually that laugh is just nervous, uncomfortable, and you leave thinking, I killed it. They leave going, that guy killed it. You with me? So let's stay away from that stuff, and I'm going to honor you. I'm going to introduce you, but here's the thing, Jack. We're going to talk about something you know nothing about. They're going to come up with it, and when they come up with it, you're going to love it, and you're going to own it. I'm going to give you a big old intro. Is that cool? That's cool. Right there. Man, this man has a great smile. Jack, stand right there. Y'all, first of all, you rooting for him? Yeah. Of course you are. Um, and half of you are like, I'm glad he didn't pick me. <laughs> I want a topic that's appropriate, that's fun, that's different, that Jack can be an expert on. Could be alligator wrestling, or he's the master of climbing Mount Himalaya. But what I want you to see is when we come from a, a base foundation with no script, but a foundation of love and grace, the creativity will flow, and endorphins will fly, and we will feel good. What is a topic that you would want up here that's fun and heroic, that has nothing to do with Jack's lane? Go. Ping pong's funny. What else? What was it? That's fun. I like ping pong and hang gliding. Whoop. Pa paragliding. Paragliding and ping pong. We'll put them together. They belong together. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce to you a dear friend of mine. He's a PhD and MD, and he's on his way of getting his psychological doctorate in paragliding with ping pongs. He comes from a family, you've read about him. Please put your hands together for a dear friend, a master. He doesn't like to use the word, I'll use it, guru. He doesn't like it, I'll use it. Paragliding, ping pong champion. Give him a hand. Come on out, Jay. Come on out. Come on out. They know you, Jack. They know you. Jack, come on over here. Let me start with a pretty basic question. You were the youngest, correct me if I'm wrong, youngest paragliding ping pong champion. How old were you when you first paraglided? Uh, I would think I was eight. Eight years old, and you weren't exactly sure, but you think you were eight. I think I was eight. You would think no. you were eight. 
You come from a paragliding family. Yes. Talk about the influence your grandfather had on you as a paraglider. Well, I'd had any choices. Every day he'd take me out with him, and we just do our thing. Do your thing. Do our thing. You wrote a great book called Lying with Grandpa. Oh, yeah. Lying with Grandpa, I sequel. Remember you remember, do you remember? You wrote it. So, Jack, <laughs> when you and Grandpa used to jump off of the cliff, you would say something. to your. It was a mantra of sorts to give you flight, if you will. Can you share that with the audience? Yes, I would say, Granddad, what you doing? <laughs> it was a question. It was a question. You would say, Granddad, what you doing? And then it was a... It was a call and answer of sorts, was it not, Jack? So let's say you're granddad and I'm you. I'd say, Granddad, what are you doing? And then you would answer. <laughs> he soared. He soared. You're flying. And then the ping pongs were introduced. Oh, yeah. That's how I got the ping Yeah. Talk about how the ping pongs help you stay in the air. Uh, how I catching them balls back then, mm -hmm. you know, so we had to find a way to do it when, uh, I really don't know. Mm. <laughs> Try to remember, Jack. Try to remember. You can tell us. Tell us. Yep. I, you would jump off. I'll jump off. Mm -hmm. I'll do it with you. Okay. Let's do the jump. <gasps> yeah. And then the ping pongs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. you remember. You remember. Yeah, I, remember yeah, yeah. I just have to have a pound, mate. Yeah. You mean here we go at it? Yeah, go at it. Go you go start playing ping pong. You start playing ping pong. Back and forth. That's what we do. That's what we do. I don't want you to miss a beat. I'd like to do it in slow motion from the jump. <laughs> Give him a hand for crying out loud. It's so good, man. Stay up here. Stay up here. I don't rarely have people with Jack's personality do an expert speaker. At the same time, there was something interesting. I want you to be up my level. Here's a man who's confident on stage, yet we were doing something very scary. Agree? Yes. Yeah. I and don't know about it. Yeah. <laughs> were you nervous? No. Hmm. Little bit. Thank you. I'll take a little bit. Jack, I want to share with you, and you guys can take this if there's some Jack in you. Physicality helps you. Did you notice when we went here, things came to life? Oh, yeah. I was like, this doesn't feel so good. <laughs> Did you notice Jack held for a moment, said, I don't remember, and I'm like, you're gonna. <laughs> and then he pulled a ping pong ball out of his back pocket. And when we did slow motion, I did it with you. These are all dynamics that if we don't embed them in our interactivity, their interactivity is going to actually work against you. You got me? You have to be very careful with interactivity that you do it with grace. Another thing I want to light you up with, your smile is magnetic. Your physicality is truly your voice. Um, when you're here, all of a sudden your endorphins are flying. You with me? Um, and you have a great ability to laugh from here, which can move a room. How do I know that? I just saw it. So did you. Give him a hand. Good job, man. Appreciate you. Thank you. God bless you. I don't want any of us as leaders to drive home thinking I'm the only one. You're not. Drive home all the time thinking, man, why did I say that? I could have done that better. Oh, I rushed there. We're in this together. Let's support each other. We're all a little nervous. Some of us a little more than others. Some days we're more nervous than others. Sometimes we get our work out and we'll feel better. But I want to actually embrace that we all have some nerves. And if you didn't care about what people thought, then you should get rid of all the mirrors in your house. The three tiebacks to expert speaker are as follows. The first is, we as leaders need to show it before we say it. I am such a big fan of nonverbal. 